What's up YouTubers, it's your boy Red Crimson Gaming here. Listen, it is pouring where I'm at right now. It's been raining for like three days. Matter of fact, it has been raining all week. And due to the rain, I can't go to work. I do construction, so it's pouring down so bad that I cannot work. Now the bad thing about that is I'm missing money. Good thing about that is today is Thursday, September 26, 2024, and that is the special day that Zelda Echoes of the Wisdom is released. Yes, you heard me right. Echoes of the Wisdom is currently out now. Now, as I'm looking, it is 557. Target doesn't open up until seven o'clock we all know gamestop opens up pretty late in the afternoon depending on what coast you're on so i'll be heading to walmart because they open at six o'clock so let's head on over there and see if they have echoes of the wisdom out and i'm going to be upset if they don't have it because it's the 26th they should have it on store shelves also too remember guys the Hyrule edition, gold edition that is, of the Switch Lite comes out today as well. Um, I have three Switch Lights. Three if you count my daughter's pink Switch Lite. I bought that for her, so I kind of don't count that, but I did buy it. And there's three Switches in the house, so I have the first Pokemon edition Switch Lite that came out with the gray one. I don't know the name of it and I got the black one the black Pokemon one which the design on it wasn't all that great now it's funny because they have they just announced a switch light up OLED upgrade kit that you can buy from a third-party source and the high the highest tier gives you um, a shell shell so all you have to do is an easy swap you just I guess just switch the boards over you don't know solder required which is actually pretty dope so I might change my mind on the Hyrule Edition switch light or you know me I must still buy it and buy the OLED upgrade and put the OLED upgrade in the switch Hyrule Edition that'd be kind of dope a lot of money going down the train though but anyway guys i can't really record and drive so see you guys later back at the house when i get the game ladies and gentlemen of youtube look at this rain it is pouring it is pouring out here ladies and gentlemen and as you can see i'm sitting right next to the super walmart there it is i know you can barely see it because of the rain running down the window pane but we're finna go in here and get this echoes of the wisdom game hopefully they got it out but it is pouring out here guys i think we're getting a backlash from some kind of tropical storm i advise anyone that's in virginia northern virginia do not come out in this rain unless you really have to because it's kind of bad out here. Actually, it is bad out here. Do not come out in this rain, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, do not come out in this rain unless you have to. Now, for the poor folks that got to work, I feel sorry for y'all. But then again, at least you guys are making your money and your vehicle will be safe once you get to your job location in your parking space so we're finna go up in here and get this new legend of zelda echoes of the wisdom i'm posted up in front of this dunkin donuts double d wow big titties all right guys let's go all right guys look at this rain look at that puddle it is terrible out here guys it is terrible out here all this for a video game for a zelda game 
Is it worth it? I'll let you guys tell me. Well, I see people moving around in there, so. It is open. I think my car should be okay, parked over in the Dunkin' Donuts. Guys, let me know how you how you all are feeling about the new Legend of Zelda Echoes of the Wisdom. How you feel about Zelda having her own game? Kinda don't like the art style. The art style is cool, don't get me wrong, the art style is dope and everything, but I think it's a little bit too childish looking. But Nintendo they have a great way of making games look childish, but when you play it. It's not childish, if you know what I mean. Good morning. The Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S. Got a couple of PS5s, digital. I haven't seen those in a very long time. And have some standard PS5 in stock. I would say I'm surprised. But then again, I guess everybody that won a PS5 has a PS5 now. More to come at XL for 20 bucks. That shit should be $10. Since World 14, that's funny. Oh, I didn't know that Aliens Fireteam Bravo was on the PS5. I thought that was a Steam game. Wow, JoJo Siwa has her own game. Got a lot of good prices on here on Nintendo Switch games. But all these games. I really don't care too much about and I've noticed that the game section has been getting small especially for the Nintendo Switch oh okay and there's some more games over here Uh-oh, guys. So far, I am not seeing the new Zelda game. Am I too early? There are some really good deals on Switch games. But I still see that the games that people care about, the good, the good AAA games, are still $60. Cuphead. And the games that people don't care about are like 20 bucks. Naruto. That's a good deal. My Naruto game. Hello Neighbor. You definitely have plenty of Switch OLEDs. Alright guys, so bad news, they do not have it at Walmart, that is so weird, it wasn't even on their website, I can't believe it because Walmart normally has everything, but I guess today they don't have everything, so the next stop is Target, Target definitely has it, I've seen it on their website, so see you guys there. Yeah, uh, I've seen some guys, some young guys came into Walmart and they ran out, so I'm guessing they probably came here for the same thing. One of them hopped in their car really fast. Well, I can't even say they're here for the Zelda game. That's just me thinking Zelda, like, all right, guys, that's off the target. 
Yeah, so I'm here waiting on the store clerk to see if she's gonna bring out the um well to see if she at least have the Echoes of Wisdom and the Howl Edition Switch Light in stock. So while I'm doing that, I decide to look around the store for a little bit, see what they got. They got the PS5s. And there's this one guy here. He beat me to the punch. He was already asking the lady for the game. We got Dead Space for 30 bucks. Dead Space remake. I still gotta check that game out. There's just so much games. So many games I have on my list that I wanna play. You know how it is when you're a gamer, man. Especially me, I have, a, I have tons of games and I don't have all the time in the world to play them. So I'll just play what I can. I just hop back on. I just hop back on Tears of the Kingdom. I just hop back on Tears of the Kingdom. Had to get all the memories so I can see the extended ending. Finishing up a few quests. A guy just walked past, that's a guy that's probably waiting on the same thing I'm waiting on. And speaking of Echoes of the Kingdom, a lot of gameplay has leaked ahead of time. I've seen people playing the game, I've even seen an unboxing. No manual. Got the Switch OLED on display. Switch light. All right, boys and girls. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just left Target, and good old Target, you can always count on them. They did have the Echoes of the Wisdom and a Hyrule Edition Switch light early. Yes, sir. Wow, it is pouring. Give me a second, guys. I just got up out of my bed. It's been an adventurous morning. It's been pouring, raining outside. It's still pouring and raining. The streets are bad. But, you know, I got what I came out for. I have the Echoes of the Wisdom, Legend of Zelda game, and I have the Gold Hyrule Edition Switch Lite, and it comes with 12 months of Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion. So that means I get to, get to play the N64 games. I never signed up for that before. I always get the normal tier or the family normal tier. I think paying for Sega Genesis games and N64 games was doing a little bit too much, but it came free with the Switch Lite and of course I'm going to use that. Now, like I said before, it was an adventurous morning got up in the pouring rain went to Walmart thought Walmart had it I guess I should have done my research and checked the website to see if Walmart would have the game but actually they didn't have the game when I got there which was really surprising because Walmart usually has everything it seems like Target beat them on that and one thing about Target as far as like first day releases you actually can count on them I got so Walmart didn't have it. I drove all the way down to Target, which is down the street from my house, and they had it. But like I said, the original plan was to go to Target because it's closer to me, of course. But Target didn't open until 7 a.m., whereas Walmart is open at 6 a.m. So that's why I went to Walmart first. But um, let's take a look at the goodies. Oh, the receipt got a little wet, but it ain't no thing. Okay, so here it is, guys. 
The Hyrule Edition Nintendo Switch Lite. The box is a little wet. Includes 12 month individual membership. What individual membership? I thought it was a plus expansion. Online plus expansion. Wow, I thought it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, hey, it's better than nothing, right? And it also came with this. I don't know what this is. A mystery puzzle. So, a puzzle? What the hell? It's kind of weird. Huh? My daughter might like that. And here it is, guys. Princess Zelda. Echoes of the Wisdom. And a lot of people have been anticipating this game. A lot of people surprising, surprisingly like this game. They like what they saw with that Nintendo Direct. And, you know, Nintendo always surprise you guys. They always surprise you. Their games may look kiddie at times. But when you play it, there's a lot of thought required to the game. And it's not kiddie as it seems. Now, coming from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, you would think they would take it to the next level by making a 3D Zelda game. Zelda should have had a game a long time ago. So, going from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, that kind of caliber, and dropping down to the Link's Awakening art style is kind of baffling. And don't get me wrong, guys, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, fingers crossed, that the game is great. Nintendo never really lets me down when it comes to Zelda, especially the, the Nintendo games, period. But it's just that what I'm trying to say is I got spoiled with the Tears of the Kingdom and the Breath of the Wild graphics. I think it would have turned out much better if Nintendo had made a 3D Zelda and at least changed the art style. If they made a 3D Zelda, man, it would have been so good. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a good game. We're gonna go home and check it out. So look out for that unboxing. Red Crimson 102, Red Crimson Gaming. I see you guys in a little bit when I get home. It is still pouring out here. Check this out, guys. It is pouring. Oh, and by the way, by the way, before I actually drive off man the chick that was in target was man she was really good looking man wow she was real pretty man one of those girls where you're kind of scared to talk was it boys scared to talk nah. i was just giving respect where respect is due she was a good looking chick in target man wow she was good looking all right guys well i did give you my business card though Hey, I wasn't trying to holler, man. I wasn't trying to holler. All right. See you guys when I get back to the crib. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of YouTube, that was a wild adventure trying to track down The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom, and the Hyrule Edition Nintendo Switch Lite just to show you guys and do the unboxing for you guys. It was kind of cool, man, but wasting gas at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not going to talk too long. I'm going to get into this here unboxing. As you can see from my background, I don't know if you can see at the window, but the rain has stopped. The worst of it is over for now. No more rain for now. It was pretty nasty outside. But let's go on ahead and get into this here unboxing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom unboxing as well as a Hyrule Edition Nintendo Switch Lite unboxing. What shall I unbox first? Let's go on ahead, save the best for last and unbox Echoes of Wisdom. I may not even need that. Okay, make it easy for me. Well, let's, let's take a look at the box art. It's fine. 
you guys know how I do. Try to give you the complete visual from every angle of the packaging before I actually unbox it. No manual, that kind of sucks. The map looks pretty big, but then again, it does not. Yeah, there you have it guys. Okay, so what's up next? Um, let me elaborate a little bit on this. This actually was an early buyer's bonus at Target. So if you purchase Echoes of the Wisdom at Target, you will be getting this mystery puzzle. So this is a puzzle, wow. Yeah. Feels like puzzle pieces. I don't have the space for that. Pretty sure my daughter would love that though, but I'm not gonna open that right now. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The grand finale, what everybody has been waiting for. Let's get a good look at the box. The Zelda logo. Zelda logo again. Open sesame. At least it wasn't hard to open this. I've had some packages recently where it was pretty hard to open up. And there it is. Hyrule Edition Gold Nintendo Switch Lite. I'm trying to figure out how to open this thing without ruining the package. Hmm, easy enough. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, there it is. And I made sure I washed my hands clean. No residue, no oily fingers, no grease, no greasy fingers. Oh, I like this little packaging that came in. Usually it'll come in like a little Oh, I wouldn't say styrofoam, but a weird looking white bag. But I actually kind of like how it came in this plastic. And I hate touching the screens on my systems. I hate seeing fingerprints on my systems. So the first thing I do immediately with every system is stick a screen protector on there. And oh, is it upside? Oh. Sorry guys, it was upside down. Um, hmm. I like how the D-pad looks. Don't know if it's me, but the D-pad feels a little bit better compared to the other switch lights. Could just be me though. Well, either way, it's a new feel. Let's zoom in on here a bit. Uh, get a better look. 
take a look at the top. Um, you can never go wrong with a gold finish console. Gold or anything for that matter, right? Um, at the back. Let's get a good look at that. Um, Yeah, no. There you have it. Let's put that to the side for right now. Let's see what else comes in here. Haha, ha. you guys can't see the code. I'm glad they did that. There's been times where I've done an, an unboxing and the code is like right there. So I have to use the code before I upload the video. So individual membership, 12 month online Nintendo Switch plus expansion pack for new members. Cannot add to existing membership. Wow, it kind of sucks. Well, my Nintendo Online expired a long time ago, so I should be able to use this with no problem. Now, Legend of Zelda Revisit the Classics with Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion. I've never had the, the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack. I never saw the need to because I have all these games on emulators and I wasn't gonna pay the extra bucks just to play, I don't know, Sega Genesis and N64 games. I still have my N64 and you can play those on the emulator so I don't see the point. Now the question I wanna know is guys, help me out on this one. I guess I'll find out once I enter the code, but is this the, the, the basic Nintendo Online they're giving you here or is it the Online Plus expansion pack they're giving you? If that's what I want to know, I don't know if it's a standard or the expansion. I guess I'll find out. Um, what else we have in here? And of course, the adapter, right? I have so many extra adapters. I have so many um, Nintendo Switch adapters. And the funny thing about it is I really don't use the the AC adapter for my, my, my Nintendo Switch. I use my Steam Deck AC adapter because it charges a lot faster. It's like what 40 a 40 watt charger. A 40 watt charger could charge a Nintendo Switch like within like um give or take, just off the estimate, like like an hour, man. An hour, like literally an hour, hour and a half, I don't know, probably less than that. So but for some reason I think it kind of ruins your battery and maybe it's just me because my switch my switch OLED the battery when it dies you know it can go from 100% to like 70% 75% in a heartbeat I don't know why maybe it's a game that I'm playing that uses a lot of battery power but yeah guys um so what do you think what do you guys think about the Echoes of the Wisdom and the Hyrule Edition Nintendo Switch Lite, man. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. I'm not a big fan of the Nintendo Switch Lite at all. I mean, the OLED spoiled me, and I'm a lot older, so, you know, my eyes aren't really all that good. You know, I have to focus on that smaller screen. I don't know why Nintendo just didn't fill in the bezel. And speaking of Nintendo Switch Lite, I don't know if you guys have heard but there's this guy 
he actually released he actually released he actually released excuse me because i can't talk he released an oled upgrade kit for the switch lap i think that is dope as hell that's something nintendo should have done and i remember there were talks about nintendo were gonna, was going to come out with a, a oled switch light i think with a slightly bigger screen i'm not sure with 5g but i don't know what happened with that and we have the switch 2 coming out next year so it's probably too late for the nintendo switch oled and i saw an interesting video where a guy was on the unboxing of the Hyrule edition switch Lite, and he said that nintendo just came out with this just to sell more switch lights because the switch lights don't really sell as much and that's not surprising i know there's some weirdos out there on youtube that said they prefer the switch light over the big switch which you're retarded if you actually think that because the switch light sucks in comparison to this Nintendo Switch OLED, and just 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 the, the big model Switch. You you connect to the TV as a whole. I mean, you can do a lot more with the bigger Switch. Um, I think it actually looks better on the bigger Switch because the screen is just bigger. You can see more. There's more screen ratio, and you can play all the games. Whereas on the Switch, like you can't play all the games. Like you know, the special games where you need like the TV to see bigger games like one two three switch for example or switch sports you know so but a switch oled a switch light oled is definitely dope and i advise you guys to check it out um what you can do is you can just basically basically go on youtube or even google it but you can go on youtube and just type in switch light oled and you'll get all the details you need it'll take it to a link where you can order it me myself I'm thinking about looking into it and I had to be a hypocrite and I don't like the Switch Lite but a Switch Lite OLED is a game changer and get this the Switch Lite upgrade OLED upgrade kit is 600 nits I forgot how many nits the um, Switch Lite is but it's not that much and the Nintendo Switch OLED I think it's 343 nits so if, uh, if, if, we, if we're going off specs here the Switch Lite OLED upgrade kit. That screen should be a lot better than the screen that's on the Nintendo Switch OLED. Because you're getting 600 nits. I think that's um up there or a little bit more than what the ROG Ally is. So it'll be a lot brighter and it'll be significantly brighter than the Nintendo Switch OLED itself. So yeah i would love to see that in action i would i would i would get that just to see it in action that's it i just would love to see a no less screen on the switch like 600 nits and also both more colors i thought the switch the big switch oled colors was already perfect and it the color gamut on it is great so for them to enhance the color gamut on the switch like oled upgrade kit that's something i've got to see in person so I might just get it, man, and you don't have to solder anything. All you have to do is just open up your console. There's a tutorial on that online. Step-by-step -step tells you how to do everything. And the kit comes with all of everything that you need. It also has an HDMI slot for the bigger tier upgrade if you're interested in that. But who the hell would want to play the Switch Lite on a TV? I mean, the big Switch already does that. But yeah. Sorry guys for making this video longer than I really wanted it to, but you know, it is what it is. Like and subscribe.